Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you the inside of a car. This will be a simple driving lesson for beginners and I'm literally going to be going over everything that you will find on the inside of a car. I'll be going over pretty much what everything is and what it does. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. Right now I'm on the driver's side of the car. So I'm sitting on the left side of the car um, because this is a left hand drive car and we're going to start over here so we're going to start on the left and we're literally just going to sweep our way over to the right so let's start over here on the left door okay the driver's side door we have buttons number one and two which stand for the presets for driver one and driver two i am driver two in this car um so right now it's set to my preset you have the door handle right over here which actually opens the door you can pull it closed like that and you have the lock if you unlock or lock the car you can see that move right there Okay, now moving over to the uh, actual buttons over here, we have the mirror control, so I can control the left mirror or the right mirror. So if I wanted to move the left mirror, I would slide it to the left, and I would just push this button, and you can see that the mirror does indeed move. I could do the same thing with the right, and when you put it in the center, it doesn't do anything. It will not do anything if I, if I put it in the center, all right? Okay, uh, over here we have the lock and unlock button. Sit straightforward and simple. We have the mirror, uh, sorry, the window lock. So if I push this and it illuminates, then all of the other windows other than the driver window can't be open. So I push down the passenger window, nothing's gonna happen. As you can see, the window is not opening or closing. If I unlock it, I can now control all of the windows. So I can, you know, once again, pull down the passenger window and any other window. These are the window controls. If a window control says auto, it means that it's automatic up and down. So basically, I can control it manually like this, but if I push it down harder, then, and you feel a second click, it's gonna automatically go down, just like that. And same thing with automatically going up just like that straight forward moving forward towards the center uh, of the driver's part of the car you have some vents over here now these vents are pretty straightforward you can uh, open them up you can close them or somewhere in between okay now you'll notice that by each of the windows in most cars there is going to be an extra vent that is directly pointed towards the window that vent is there so it can automatically start to defog and defrost the window while you control this vent separately so this one will automatically Automatically, you can see it's pointed towards the window it will automatically defog and defrost the window up here on the door this little center this little circular speaker on the center of the uh, mirror part of the door is called a tweeter it's a speaker that basically uh, deals with high-pitched sounds uh, it doesn't really deal with bass it deals more with treble to so going uh, lower on the left side over here we have a whole bunch of buttons. Now these buttons are specific for this car, but it all depends on the car. You're probably gonna have some buttons here. They probably won't be these exact ones, but you're gonna have some buttons. I'm not gonna go over each of them, but pretty straightforward, you know, trunk, uh, you know, uh, collision warning off, traction control off, blah, blah, blah. Moving further down, over here we have a uh, a lever for the gas cap that opens the gas cap then we have a lever for the hood that opens the hood when you pull it we have a uh, basically a pedal that does nothing here it's just there so you can rest your foot on it moving forward we have the brake pedal down here we have the gas pedal down here this slows the car down this speeds the car up i know that some of these might be like obvious to you but i'm going to go over them anyways just in case deep down underneath the steering wheel there's going to be a lever right over here this actually allows me to adjust the steering wheel okay now let's move to the dashboard so dashboard very simple and straightforward we have a tachometer which is at the top it shows how fast the engine is turning uh, in revolutions per minute if i go to five that means it's five thousand revolutions per minute speedometer is digital uh trip range for the amount of gas that's left in the gas tank uh your average fuel consumption which is really high because it's uh, winter time when i'm filming this and i've been using the auto start a lot um and also I've just been using more gas just in general, uh, pushing the gas pedal a little bit more in general. Uh, outside temperature, uh, we have the overall kilometers on the car and the current time. Over here we have the engine temperature right here, should be right about in the middle, which is perfect. Uh, we have the gas uh, gauge over here, how much fuel is left in the tank. Various lights, 
towards the left hand side we have the signal lever and interesting thing on the side of the signal lever we have a button that when you push this it actually activates the uh, right uh, mirror camera so you can see we have the blind spot camera right here you push it again and it turns it off we have the signal lever once again right signal left signal we have the headlights i can turn them on off uh put them on auto fog lights once again fog lights can be on or off let's leave them on on the right hand side over here we have the windshield wiper controls i can uh, manually turn the wipers on or i can turn them on like intermittently or i could turn them on at a slow speed or a faster speed very simple and straightforward. Uh, also, on the little bit of the side here, we have the rear uh, windshield wiper control, so I can actually turn it on just like that. And if you look at the back, you can see the rear windshield wiper is just going back and forth. All right, and this will obviously allow it to spray some windshield wiper fluid over there. All right, uh, on, the, uh, on the steering wheel, we have the horn, we have the audio controls over here, the Bluetooth telephone controls over here, the infotainment uh, button right over here, uh, and then we have the cruise control controls over here, steering wheel heater, very convenient, I love this feature. Um, and then we have like, uh, you know, the like the lane, automatic lane keeping assist and so forth. All of the cruise control uh, advanced features. Moving towards the middle. We have the engine start and stop button. If you push that, it will either start the engine or stop it. We have the infotainment screen, which deals with pretty much everything in the car, from the radio to the Bluetooth to everything in the car. We have the hazards button right here. You push it and hazard lights will go on, which is both the right and the left signals. We have two more vents over here. Uh, we have the climate control over here. Seat warmer functions over here. Levels three, two, one, Moving to nothing, economy mode. If I push that, it'll turn on economy mode, as you can see. And that little green light illuminates. If I push it again, economy mode goes off. Once again, on or off, just like that. Very simple and straightforward. We have the uh, parking brake, which is electronic. We have a brake hold feature, which is really convenient. If you turn this on, um, and it's on. So if I, let's say I turn it on, you can see it says, uh, I have to, so I, I have to actually put my seatbelt on to turn it on. But if it was on and I came to a complete stop, I could release the brake and the car would not move forward. Um, it would stay put until I push the gas pedal. So it's really, really cool little feature if you're stuck in traffic, a uh, stop and go traffic. We have the shifter. If I put my foot down on the brake, I can shift into pretty much anything. Um, if I put it in reverse, you can see we have the reverse camera, which is very, very convenient over there. Three reverse cameras, might I add. Uh, extremely useful to have three different viewpoints, okay? I'm gonna put it back in park so I don't have to worry about my car moving backwards. We have the center console, which has the power outlet, the 12 volt power outlet right over there. Um, and then inside of here, you have a few other power outlets. And then on the right side over here on the passenger side, you have basically the same controls as a driver's side. However, you only have one window control that controls that window. You don't have the lock and unlock features. We do have an additional tweeter over there. We do have an additional uh, vent to control to defog and defrost that window. And one last thing on this side over here, um, on both sides, you can see we have the little storage compartment right over here, uh, which is cool because we have three sections. We have one section over here. The center section then we have a bigger section over here and then also we have a larger speaker there's also a larger speaker on the passenger side and then in the back you have multiple speakers as well and that's basically it i mean this car has a ton of interior features um but this is just the beginning because you can have so many more features i mean i've seen cars with like three times the number of buttons and features as this car but i just wanted to go over the inside of a car all of the things that you might find on the inside of a car and what they mean and what they do uh, if you're new to driving or even if you've had your license for many years but you wanted to learn more about what is you know all of the stuff that you see what it does and what it means then hopefully this video helped you with that and that's it if you like the video be sure to give it a thumbs up let me know what you think down below as a comment and of course be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one and that's all i have for you today thanks for watching